it's coffee time. We proudly serve Starbucks coffee. So impressed. Oh my god. So we are in our hotel room. This is Aaron in my room. We got to room together, which I was so excited about. I've never been able to room with Aaron. Except for when we went to GamuCon, but that was because, you know, we set all that up. That wasn't like a Polaris game station thing. But Aaron and I both requested that we got to be in the same room together, and it totally happened, and it's so awesome. So we went and we, like, got ginger ale and all sorts of stuff. Because <laughs> there's a store nearby, so we were like, oh my gosh, let's go stock up on snacks. And then we looked in, uh, in our little fridge, and, like, all of the... You know how when you go into a hotel, a lot of times they have tiny little liquor bottles that are on sensors? So if you move the liquor bottle, then they know and they charge you for it. So um, <laughs> we opened up the fridge and all of the liquor bottles were just like haphazardly, just wherever they wanted to be. And I was like, oh no. So I had to call the front desk and say, number one, um, our bathtub won't stop dripping. Not a big deal. Like we honestly don't care, but just so you know. And number two, um, all of the liquor bottles in our fridge were super messed up. That was not our fault. We did not do that. <laughs> they were like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm uh, going to be heading out to dinner with JP and a bunch of the role play people and Jesse and Krender and all of them. I invited Aaron, but I guess we were putting together like a, a small Polaris dinner too. So I had to kind of choose between the two, but there are a bunch of people that I want to meet that are going to JP's thing that I've done role play with or that I've met so um met online but not in real person not in real life <laughs> not in real person but um <laughs> so you know I think it'll be fun we're gonna get barbecue and it should be delicious I was the worst friend in the world because Erin had to go and set up like her her whole editing thing at the convention center and all of that and I was like don't worry girl I'm going to go to the store and get us everything that we need. So you give me a list. I'll go to the store for us. And that way, when you get back, all you have to do is chill. And she was like, okay, that's great. Thank you. So <laughs> we came back to the hotel so that she could, um, she wanted to grab her jacket. It's actually very rainy and windy here. She wanted to grab her jacket and I was just coming back because I had nowhere else to be. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to walk to the store. It's literally like right next door. It's like, I'm just going to walk to the store. It's going to be great. And then I fell asleep. Standard Duger action. Just like pass out on my bed. Didn't wake up until she opened the door coming back. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> she walked in and I was just like, she was like, are you okay? And I was like, I didn't go to the store. I'm so sorry. I fell asleep. And she was like, it's fine. <laughs> so we went to the store together. I tried to be the best roommate ever, and then wound up being worst roommate ever, so. I almost knocked over my coffee. That would have been really bad. But yeah, oh my gosh. This morning, guys, I have, I don't think that I've ever been this disorganized for a trip before. And it's not like this was a sudden trip, like I didn't know it was going to happen. I definitely knew about it. I was just, um, oh, goodness. So, <laughs> Where do I even start? Okay, so last night, I um, I put together my suitcase, right? So, put together my suitcase, went to bed. Um, Sam stayed up all night reading creepy stories and then didn't want to go to bed. So, he literally went to bed when I was getting up. And I was like, well, welcome, welcome to your, <laughs> your sleep time. I need to get up and go to the airport. He was like, okay. So, I got up, grabbed my bag. I was like rattling off all of these things that I needed Sam to do. And I was, and uh, they were just like coming to me randomly. And he goes, I'm not going to remember any of these. I'm literally not going to remember any of this. So just send me like a wall of texts. Just give me a to-do list. And I was like, okay. So I wound up doing that. Uh, called my Uber driver, got into the Uber. We drove for like two miles. And then I was like, where's my phone? And I was looking around and I found my phone. And I was like, oh, cool. And then I suddenly realized, where's my purse? I did not have my purse, which meant 
I didn't have my ID. I didn't have any money. I didn't have my keys to get back into the house. It's like 6 a.m. And I'm like, oh my God. So the Uber driver and I had to turn around, went back to my place. He thought this was hilarious, by the way. I was like, I'm so sorry. We have to go back. I'm so I need, I don't have my keys. I don't have anything. And he was like, okay. He doesn't care. It just means that the drive costs more because we're having to drive all the way back to my place. So we drive all the way back. I'm calling Sam. He's not answering. I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh no. What am I going to do? So I had to like resort to calling the building manager, which I felt so bad about. His name's Robert and he's like the sweetest man in the world. I was like, Robert, I'm so sorry. I locked myself out and I need to get on a plane and you're the only person who's answering. And he was like, okay, I'll be down in just a second. I was like, okay, thank you. Please hurry. He was like, Okay, I'm working on it. He was, like, so sleepy. He was just like, okay, hold on. <laughs> they came downstairs, let me in the building, let me into my apartment, grabbed my purse, all of that. I thank Robert profusely. Get in the car. We're, you know, we Uber up to the airport. And then um, I get on the plane. Then... Aaron and I are sitting next to each other on the plane as well, which is fantastic. We were on one of those planes where nobody had assigned seating. So we were like, oh, maybe none of us are going to wind up sitting together. But we did actually wind up sitting together. So it was nice. And then as we're sitting there and talking about things, I go, I don't think I packed any shirts. And Aaron goes, what? And I was like, I don't think I packed any shirts. <laughs> she was like, what are you talking about? And I was like, I'm looking back. I'm thinking back on packing my bag. I think I put one shirt in there and I think that's it. And she goes, are you kidding me? And I was like, no. And she was like, well, I packed like 50 shirts cause I always overpack. So you can totally wear one of my shirts. And I was like, okay, cool. Still super weird. So we get to our hotel and I was like, let's inspect the suitcase. Let's see what's in here. And I packed one shirt. I packed one shirt. One shirt. There's a dress in there. There's pajama pants in there because I always forget pajama pants. So I was like, I have to remember to put pajama pants in here. Put pajama pants in there. I spent the whole day doing laundry to make sure that I would have everything that I needed to put into this suitcase. Which, by the way, I washed this. I'm so happy because I wear it all the time, if you haven't noticed. And uh, it was it was very delightful to put it on and have it be so so comfy and cozy and warm at the time. Anyways, no shirts. The one, the one shirt, and it's like my loot crate cat skull shirt. So if you know you run into me at Pack South and I'm wearing that shirt, you'll know that's the only shirt that I packed. So, so there's that. <laughs> I'm such a failure. I'm such a monster, and I'm such a failure. And then my uh, my little blister, my little blister right there. Ugh. Oh, it's doing okay though. And just every now and then, I like I I brush against it in the wrong way, like against fabric or something, and then it stings really badly. But other than that, it's fine. It's fine. My pole kiss. It's doing fine. But yeah, I'm just waiting for Krender and Jesse to be done. And then we're all going to go to barbecue together. Hang out and do whatever. <laughs> it's going to be magical. It's going to be wonderful. And it's like not a big deal. And I only packed one shirt and left my purse at home. All of that's behind me now. All of it's behind me. <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's wrong with me? I just don't know. I just don't know what was going on with my brain, but that's okay. <laughs> that's fine because I remembered to scoop the litter box before I left. I did do a ton of laundry. I forgot to upload my honey pop video. So that's dumb. Just drop the ball. Just drop the ball on so many levels, but, but I know that you, you guys still like me, right? You guys still like me, right? Uh, so yeah. I'm gonna go and continue waiting for Cox and Krender to pick me up. But I hope that you guys have had a fantastic day. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. Okay? Goodbye. 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 Mm.